Hello YouTube. Here we got another update video. Been working on the the uh, walking beams and uh, and the main beam. That the walking beam is going to be supported on. So we've got the four beams all welded up. Got to do a little patchwork on that weld, but they're all uh, they're all done. Now. Uh, I've gone ahead and mounted the four uh, walking beam pivots. They're upside down. It's going to be flipped over. And uh, i got to weld the bottom yet. I'm going to give them a little paint job. And I've also gone ahead and, and uh, drilled the holes for all of the axles. So as you can see there, there's a um, 5 16 hole drilled through. and. Uh, so I've done them all, and there's the extra axles, and there's the ones for the one side. Um, got these on sale the other day from Princess Auto, which is uh, awesome. Saved me some money. Yeah, and the drilling, of course, made one heck of a mess, as you can see. Quality of shavings, and my little template for drilling those holes. So yeah, now I'm going to just do the cleanup weld on here. Paint the bottom of this, flip it over, weld up the, the joints, and we'll see what that looks like when I get her done. And then we'll be able to mock up the, the whole uh, walking beam assembly. Had some really good progress today. We are uh, looking really good. I've uh, mocked up all the brackets. We've got uh, all four assembled. Fully welded, gave them a little coat of paint. I've mocked up the bracket, the uh, walking beams along with the main support beam. So you can see how it's gonna look. You can kind of tell there that they're all in line. Um, looks like my drilling was pretty close. There's maybe a quarter inch deviation. But the hardware here is pretty hefty. So I don't imagine I'll ever have an issue with this equipment here. Maybe in the tires, that was, those are the weak spot. Only rated for 600 pounds each. And if we hit a hard bump or go over something hard, so we'll have to take it easy at the beginning when we're testing it. So yeah, you can tell there now it's everything's in line. You can see how it sits. Left this uh, beam sticking out the front quite a bit. So right now that's the position all of the walking beams themselves are in the right spot. Hopefully you can tell how that's all going to work now. Um, the cog is sitting there. If you can imagine, once the cog is mounted up here, driving that. The back end, I bought some new jack stands. So the back end needs to go up about another inch. And the front a couple inches. We're going to have... Remembering there's a track that goes on top of those tires. So that uh, track, each walking beam needs room to go like this. So the track, it's right there. It's going to come up and touch the bottom. I mean, not that I care a whole pile, but I don't want to wreck the vehicle. So I want to make sure and give it a little bit of clearance. So we'll, we'll go up a couple more inches. At the front, you can see the beam sticking out. Well, if the track comes in wraps around here and goes around like that then uh, that'll be fine but there'll be basically the track tension will be set by the position of everything and there'll be no way to tension the track uh, in order to uh, increase it or decrease it so what I'm going to do is I bought this idler wheel it's greasable so hopefully it'll last a little while I'm going to mount this Right there, but with that bracket this way. Hopefully now you guys can see that. And then this will move in and out. I'm going to spring load this. I've got some springs from uh, some pressure regulators back when I used to rebuild instrumentation. So yeah, that, that idler wheel will sit here and tension in and out. It'll also be kind of the front spot will be higher, so it'll be... It'll be up there so that if you go over anything big, it'll, it'll kind of take some of the weight until the tires catch the weight there. 
So now, next step, I mean, obviously I'd really like to keep going on the, the walking beam setup, but really need to get that cog wheel set up with the, uh, the center piece, get that all welded on. Um, cut the center out of the tire, the spare tires, so that I have something there. Need to finish that bracket for the axle support. As you can see, I've got the new drive shaft installed. Fit like a glove. Hopefully you can see that. It's pretty dark, but... Yeah, I've got two... Uh, missing a couple of brake parts. Looks like got a little overzealous cleaning up the garage the other day. So... Got to run back to the picker part and get uh, some brake uh, bolts and another hose. So yeah, that's one side. It's pretty close. We'll keep mocking this up. Get that back end put together and then start on the front um, adjuster wheel. And then of course start drilling more holes in the track and assemble a track and then see it all fits. Then before I start on the other side, we will get the brake system done otherwise it, the the track limits access underneath the vehicle so we'll we'll get this brake drum uh, brake cylinder master cylinder here we'll mount this just like that angled a little bit so that uh, the pedals or the the arms to drive the the brakes will reach yeah so uh, We'll see how she goes. I'll give you guys another update in a few hours of work.